Hey guys, so I want to share with you the number one reason why I switched to mirrorless cameras. And it's not a feature, it's not a spec, but this is the thing that pushed me over the edge and had me leave my DSLR behind and finally go in on mirrorless cameras. Stick around. So I'm driving around here on a terribly gloomy, rainy day, late April in New York. Uh, I was going to do a video, I started actually shooting a video, talking about some of the new specs that Canon released uh, regarding the Canon EOS R5 that's supposed to be coming out this summer. And this is a camera that I'm really, really excited about. More than I've been excited about probably any camera that I've ever seen coming out. I, I really want to be first in line to get this thing. It really looks amazing. So I started talking about why what the features were, what the new release features were, some of the really cool things about it. And I kind of bored myself with it. Uh, just talking about features of a camera that has probably at this point been talked to death uh, over the past few days, past week or so. Uh, I, I want to get my hands on it. I want to get in depth with it and really talk about what it's like to use it uh, rather than just talking about the specs. So it got me to thinking, you know, why am I so excited about this camera? really more than any other camera that I've been excited about before. And it got me into thinking why I'm excited about, why I was excited about getting into mirrorless when I did. Uh, I got my mirrorless camera, the Canon R, about uh, a little, little less than a year ago, about 10 months ago, uh, in June 2019. And I had been using, Bill and I had both been using the EOS M50, uh, which I'm shooting this video on now for about six months before that. And that was really, it's a mirrorless camera. It's, a, it's not a full frame, it's a crop sensor. That's a mirrorless camera. And that was really my first introduction into mirrorless cameras. And I gotta say, I really love this camera. And Bill loves it too. For years before that, Canon really hadn't been a player in the mirrorless market at all. They had a couple of mirrorless cameras in the, in the M line, uh, but they really weren't great. I had one. And uh, Nikon was also not really much of a player in that system. Sony was really the, the powerhouse in mirrorless cameras. And I had played around with the Sonys. Uh, I had used them just to try them out in camera shops and stuff, just to get a feel for it. And uh, I never really liked the, the um, electronic viewfinder. Uh, I found it to be a little, not really as tactile uh, as I loved with the DSLR to be able to look through uh, the viewfinder and see exactly what you're seeing. And I, I guess I was probably also kind of stuck in a, you know, I loved my Canon 5D3, my 5D4. I've been using them for years and it was just what I used. It was what I liked. It was what I was used to. It always worked for me. And I, I guess I was probably stuck in that for a long time also. So I was always kind of like mirrorless, mirrorless. You know, what's the big deal? My DSLR is better than this. I don't need this. It's new technology, you know, it's, it's not the greatest thing. And it wasn't until I actually, because I had been using the M50 for five, six months at that point, uh, that, and I really liked it, that I took a chance on the Canon EOS R, uh, which had been out for probably six to nine months at that point, uh, which I hadn't even considered. I never even thought about getting it. The full, it's the Canon's first full frame mirrorless camera. And I hadn't even thought about getting it until I had been using the M50 and having fun with it that I even considered the Canon, uh, Canon R, the full frame mirrorless version. So I picked up one of those. I was going on a trip to Disney, uh, kind of a solo photo trip for four or five days. I had some other things to do in Florida, so I was taking that advantage of that to be able to spend a few days in Disney alone. And I spent a day carrying my 5D4 and my Canon R side by side shooting with both of them. And it was kind of annoying to have to switch back from one camera to another. So the next day that I went out, I left my 5D4 back in the hotel. I feel, felt really bad about doing it, but I left it there and I figured if I'm gonna really get to know the Canon R and get to know the system, I have to shoot with that exclusively. So that's what I did. I took that out with all my lenses and everything. The, all my EF lenses worked great with an adapter. So I went out for the day and I shot with that Canon R exclusively all day long, 18 hours, and absolutely fell in love with the camera. Not the features or the specifications, uh, which really aren't quite as good as the 5D4. 
Image quality wise, it's on par. The build is a little bit, uh, a little bit less than the 5D4. It's pretty much the same camera as the 5D4. The image sensor is the same thing. But what I found, and it's the first time in years and years uh, of shooting that I found is I was having a lot of fun with this camera. Not that I don't have normally have fun shooting with the DSLRs that I've been using all the years, because photography to me is really, really a lot of fun. I really get lost in what I'm doing when I'm doing it. It's one of the great things that I love doing, and you guys I'm sure can relate. But I was having a different kind of fun using this Canon EOS R, this full frame mirrorless camera, in ways that I never had before. And it gave me a whole new feeling about photography, a whole new fun element to it that wasn't just, you know, like, like a routine, like work. Like you gotta, you know, here's your tool and you're gonna go out there and use your tool to do your work. Just a lot of fun to use. Uh, I found the, the the flip the flippy screen the the L, the real LCD screen that flips out and you can rotate it into any direction, 360 degrees. I found that to be a great great way to compose images. I found myself being more creative with that. Shooting uh, on dark rides in dark situations, being able to focus uh, in ways that I was never able to focus before in the dark. Uh, we've talked about that here. One of the great features of this mirrorless camera is that you can really focus in the dark. It brightens up the scene for you and you can achieve focus in ways that you couldn't possibly do it with uh, with the mirrorless, uh, with the DSLR cameras. Uh, I was having fun doing that. I was having fun with, uh, you know, with the video also, but it was, it just introduced a whole new element of just fun to me. It's a smaller camera, so I was. It, it fits in my bag better. It fits in my hand better. And then expanding from there, I spent all day using that. And really, after that day, I I never touched my 5D4 again. I took it out one day to use it. Uh, I put the 300 millimeter on it to shoot that in conjunction with the with the R. But after that, I really never used my 5D4 again. And then you know, after a while, I just I ended up trading it in and. Uh, really bought into the mirrorless system the way that even just a few months prior I never thought I would have. The lenses, the RF lenses, uh, there's not a lot of them yet but they're a lot of fun to use. They, you know, image stabilization technology is built into them. The, the image quality is a lot better than I'm finding with the EF lenses. The apertures are wider, the lenses are smaller, the camera's smaller. It's brightened up my way of shooting uh, in a way I never thought I would have before. And, you know, Bill's kind of alluded to this a lot and he's been using, the only mirrorless camera that he has is the M50. Uh, he's been using his Nikon DSLR, uh, the, 7, the D750 in conjunction with that. But he's having a lot of fun using the M50 and he took it on a trip, just that camera alone, and had a great time shooting with it. The M50 has its limitations. Uh, in low light situations, uh, it's not great. But in, in the sweet spot, in ordinary shooting situations, it's a great camera, it really is a lot of fun. So, you know, if you look at the videos that Bill's been doing and how he's been talking about the M50, it's not just, well, it gives great image quality and it has great features. What I'm taking away from those videos and what I'm talking to Bill on the side is he's having a lot of fun using it. It's really a, a, a system that, it's, it introduces a different element to shooting uh, than we're used to. And it's not like a, a totally different system, obviously. It's basically a camera with a lens. And it, it just it just works in a way that the DSLRs, it's almost like a DSLR is, uh, you know, tied down to something. And mirrorless camera, you, you can kind of take it off and it breaks away. And that's why I'm really looking forward to these, this R5 when I look at the specs. And I guess I'm going to start talking about some of the R5 specs now. But, uh, you know, the dual car slot, card slots is just a kind of meat and potatoes thing that I must have. Uh, but the in-body image stabilization to be able to shoot long exposures like a second or so, or maybe even longer than a second, handheld is a huge, huge thing that's gonna you know, increase the, the, the joy that I'm having with photography even more, to not have to stop and break out a tripod every time I wanna shoot uh, a one second exposure or you know, find a place to prop the camera. Uh, it's it, there's a whole new world of, of technology uh, that's you know really budding here. I find 
uh, in this new line, uh, in these mirrorless cameras. And it's not just Canon. Uh, you know, Nikon's got some great new cameras with the Z6, Z7 and other ones that they've done. The Sony cameras have really held their own. They've been the leader in this market for a while, and I think they still are right now. Uh, there's some great, great technology that's coming out with these. And it's just been a lot of fun to get into the systems. That's why I'm looking forward so much to that R5 camera that's coming out is because I've had so much fun with the R and I had so much fun with the R because I took a chance on it because I had so much fun with the M50 before. So, you know, if you're looking into getting into a, a camera line, uh, something new you want to start out, we've talked about this so much on this, on this channel here about the M50, get yourself an M50. The lens it comes with, like I guess the 15 to 35 lens or whatever it comes with, uh, 15 to 45, start out with that. Get the 22 millimeter F2, uh, which I'm using to shoot this right now. It's a great lens. You can see, you know, I'm arm's length away and, you know, the background is nice and blurred. It's a really nice lens for portraits and stuff. There's so much great, so many great things you can get in this system, in this mirrorless system. And I, I feel like it's the future. I feel like it's the future of photography. It's the way all these systems I feel are going to be going. So, Buying into a system, a mirrorless system now, whether you're starting out with the M50, a crop sensor uh, mirrorless, or going into the R system, the Canon R, uh, with the full frame, or whatever the Nikon and Sony versions of that are, you're gonna have fun. It's, I'm having so much fun doing it. I've used the word fun probably 50 times in this video already, so I'll stop saying it. I'm really enjoying photography in a way that I haven't, hadn't been enjoying. I, like I said, I've been enjoying photography, but I'm enjoying it in a way that I hadn't been probably since I started out uh, and I was learning uh, what all of these numbers and dials and controls mean. I'm um, having a lot more enjoyment with it uh, in a way that I haven't uh, in a really, really, really long time. So uh, I just kind of went, I just did this video kind of like I said, as I was having thoughts about why I'm looking so forward to the uh, R5 camera. Uh, and I've kind of just killed some time as I'm driving around here on a terrible rainy day. So um, any thoughts that you have, put them in the comments below. We love to hear from you guys, any questions or anything that you have. If you get one, thinking about getting into mirrorless cameras, into these lines, uh, definitely let us know what you think. I'm gonna put uh, links here to uh, video series that we've done on the M50 and the Canon R, so you can check those out. If you're looking for more information on that, uh, there's a lot of good stuff that we did there. And, uh, and that's it. So thanks for listening to me. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.